to minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> I hope you're nursing your hangovers really well. I'm not. I wish I were, but I'm not. And and I hope everybody had a great time, had a great New Year's and New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Hope you didn't have to work. I didn't have to. <laughs> and if you did, <laughs> sorry, couldn't resist the raspberry. <laughs> Anyway, get out and visit your local open mics. You know, I always talk about that. I always talk about the one at 21st in Germantown. It's like my second home there in 1481 South Shelby Street, Louisville, Kentucky. Every month, every Sunday night from 7 to 9, hosted by my good buddy, local comedian, Uncool Randy. He even makes a joke about me. And I'm that's pretty cool, I thought. <laughs> so, well, we'll just go ahead and... I won't ramble on too much. I won't bring my guests right on because I think they're in the middle of a recording and they're taking a break to talk to me. I'm going to ask them that. Hey, tell us who you are and where you're from, you guys, and be specific because I I read that you are not you are all from different states coming together to do this. Yes, we are. Um, we're Vices Inc. The, the band is basically based in Portland, Maine, but I'm from Massachusetts. Eleanor's from Massachusetts. Uh, Chrissy's from California. Well, I was, I was born, but I'm mostly from Maine. <laughs> uh, Hinalee's from uh, Maine, and Joshua's from Maine, too. Right. So do you live in different states right now? She, re she resides in New Hampshire. Oh, well, that doesn't count. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I sit there, I actually have to think about it. Where is New Hampshire to Maine? It, that's not... Is that far? They're, they're close to they're back to back. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. I know that part, but like, do you have a long drive to get get together no, with your band? It's like 30, 40 minutes. Like, oh. it's not bad. Yeah, it, it would be bad over here, but thirty minutes to go practice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even I drive that far to go practice. And I, still <laughs> live in state, so. <laughs> I know, I know. It's it's a little different over there. I've toured over there too, and it's like, it's like, to like it's a, to get down the street. It's it takes a little longer than it does in Indiana. <laughs> no, but it's cool over there. I love, I've not been to, I've been close to the New Hampshire line, I guess. I, I haven't been in New Hampshire and I've never been to Maine, so I don't know how Maine is. <laughs> it's the vacation land. <laughs> is it? I, I got a buddy from Maine, though. He he said he says the mosquito's the Maine state bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to take credit for that because I like that, that I could be a, offending somebody unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a solid joke. I've heard it before, yeah. but it's, <laughs> it's solid. I approve. <laughs> well, what do you wanted to tell me about today? We just got yesterday. We finished our tour. Um, it ended yesterday. We're on tour the past few months, oh, a couple months. Oh, really? 
Yeah. You, you, you went full out. Yeah, multiple states, a lot of states, actually. And we all, as far as Indiana, as far as we went. And then we played in Ohio, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, D.C., New York. I mean, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, on and on. A lot of places. But it ended, it ended last night. Where'd you end at? Maine, Portland, Maine. Okay. So you, you got to Indiana and said, oh, this is as far west as I'm going. <laughs> you love it though. Oh, it was hey, 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 man! You, you, once you get into Illinois, it is, you say, "Man, this place is flat." <laughs> wow, <laughs> how flat can a place be, Illinois? <laughs> we played a place called uh, the Melody Inn in Indianapolis. We loved it. It was great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you how you like that. I play there. I play there some too. It's that only awesome. like an hour yeah, away. Our favorites on the tour. But, and I saw you played the Mag Bar, which is like 11 yeah. minutes from my house. 11 oh, minutes okay. from where, I'm, where I'm at, right? Even though I'm in Indiana, it's literally 11 minutes from my house. The Mag Bar we, is. We love that place too. It was yeah. great. Great sound. It was awesome. Yeah. It's a it's a cool little it's a cool little dive. I've got I've gotten to play there a few times too. It's kind of hard to get in there. So congratulations. Like yeah, this. we're gonna be. It's it's already booked for our next tour in April. All right. So. All right. Well, let me know because if I if I'd known you guys then, I would have went down there. Like I said, it's just even. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's literally just like it's well, not we, far. We ain't gonna hold you to that now. When we you know we go down there. As long as I'm not playing somewhere. As long as I'm not playing okay. somewhere, I'll, I'll go down to the bag. Show with us. Huh? Maybe you want to show with us. Right. Is it, will it be punk rock night? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we probably we might be playing it playing a show with you then. <laughs> I know I know we're, I know we're on the lineup on one of them great but maybe since we're we're kind of cow punk which is I don't know if you've ever heard cow punk but it's like country music played real fast through Marshall stacks <laughs> 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 so so that but you're gonna release you have an album out now right yeah. A few of them, actually. Yeah, I know. It's coming in a compilation at the end of the year. There we go. That's what I was getting at, the compilation. So tell me about the comp. It's going to be, uh, I mean, it's not a greatest hits because obviously we don't have a greatest hits. But I think you should still call it that. It's <laughs> <laughs> something where um, it has a collection of our, our, our you know, different eras of our, our songs with different albums. And it's mostly geared for radio because we uh when get radio play so we have to have a cd field for it but we also feel like we're going to sell our shows and stuff because if you want an example of us but not buying one album this is where you start and it's going to get a fresh uh feel to it because all the songs are getting remixed so they are symmetric and we added some new songs and doing some new things to some of these songs so we're pretty excited about it so if you have heard these songs before you have to get this version because it's going to be different from the other version for sure. That's cool. Oh yeah. Cool. What what's the night show? What is that? Danny. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I'm... well, it's a, it's a, <laughs> um, Dan Cashman. It's a it's a it's a it's, it's like a late night talk show that's based out of Maine. It's pretty popular. It's pretty cool. And we were on that in September. It was a great experience. And you play in front of a live audience. And it gets uh, uh, played on uh, TV. It was on uh, CBS and Fox um, a couple of days later. And wow. Yeah, we played three songs on there. Uh, one was uh, broadcast uh, a couple of days after the show. And then uh, one's going to be broadcast on TV in another few months, I think. And then another one was just for the, their website. Yeah. It's on YouTube. One of them is. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Where was I going with that? Alkaline Kiss. When can we expect Alkaline Kiss? Come on, don't make me talk about that. <laughs> it's coming out in April. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to make sure I wasn't wrong about yeah, the date. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't remember, remember anymore. It's, it's, it's our next album. We're kind of changing our sound a little bit. Um, from a, you know, doing pop punk songs to more of a turn up style music. And we're going to release it just before the next tour 
um, like I said, it's in April. So, um, yeah, that's when we released some songs off it already. A uh, song like Lex High and I, Cinnamon, uh, Full Personality, um, Unsure Within Insecurity. Right Still, through. Uh, what's that? Right, right through. through. Right through, yeah. And you can check that out on your Spotify or YouTube, whatever you utilize. But um, the full album will be out in April. So, are you going to have like a cassette run? Well, this is funny you're going to say that. Like We decided we're going to go vinyl for this. All we're right. Vinyl. Yeah, vinyl and obviously CD. And I thought about the cassette. We have thought about it because it's uh, it's actually uh, cost efficient. It's not really that expensive to do it. We might no. do it. But the vinyl's first, though. Right. Oh, I just saw a picture on your Facebook with a cassette, cassette on it. I was like, oh, yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just this show. It looks okay. cool, though. I try to do some research on every every guest. <laughs> you know, I try to I, I try to know what what I can about them about them. Sometimes it's in a short period of time, kind of kind of like this one. But I I I think I did my homework here. <laughs> and I I'm a cassette guy. I'm, I'm an yeah. '80s '90s kid, man. I'm a cassette guy. I'm one of the guys that I still have my jam box from 1982 that I got for Christmas in 1982. Yeah. Sitting right there, in my lip. It still works. It's a Sears, but oh, God, Sears made some good products back in the day. <laughs> 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 it's, it does. It still works great. It sounds amazing. Still, I was like, holy, and so, it, and I got real excited when I saw cassettes are kind of on the rise they are. again. Yeah. And, uh, I'm like, so, oh yeah, I'm a, I've got dual tape decks. Oh yeah, we're gonna be, gonna be burning off from the radio, whatever, recording songs <laughs> off the radio and stuff. Well, I used to do that all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I cannot hear. I don't a song by Jay Giles band called Centerfold. I don't know yeah. if you remember that song. There, I caught. I had a recording of it when, like, I missed the first couple of lines. And so whenever I hear the song, I, my my mind goes right to where that where I had it on that cassette, even from that long ago. <laughs> sorry, I'm rambling. It's supposed to. No, sorry. <laughs> oh man, my last week's guest gave you all a big shout out, which is also where I poached you guys because I poach bands. That's what I I, I stalk I stalk Facebooks and stuff and poach yeah. bands to be on this show. It, my last week's band gave you all a big shout out, and I told them you were my guest this week, and they were really excited for you. <laughs> was it Metallica? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it was Pink Masquerade. So we're yes. gonna give yes. we're gonna yes. give them a shout out back. Just to- yeah, we do. Yeah. We, we love They're them. Great. They, they were, were they were, they were a fantastic interview. They were really really fun. Yeah, we're, they're gonna be on tour with us in April. Oh, uh, they're gonna go on the whole tour with you? Well, not the whole thing, but in in uh, Ohio and Pennsylvania area. Okay. In Kentucky oh. too, in Indiana as well. So in Indiana, <laughs> I always wonder why people come here. But <laughs> it's got corn. Oh, the corn. Like corn. corn. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of it here, man. A lot of corn. I like corn. Didn't we have a long conversation about corn with one of the people yeah, yeah. there. <laughs> Corn and Walmart. Corn and Walmart. <laughs> in weird road stuff. Yeah. That's what, that was just a bit Indiana for us. You'll, you'll have to go to the Uranus Fudge pa- Factory. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real place. It's it, it's it's probably not yeah. far out of your way. The Uranus Fudge Factory. <laughs> That's going to be written on our That's chart. <laughs> And when you, when you check out, your receipt says, thanks for letting us pack your phone. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, Indiana, we got the world's largest ball of paint. You need to go wow. see that. <laughs> that's that's, that's a good combo of that. Yeah. <laughs> also got the MC 500. Yeah. Yep, Indy 500. We really do have the world's largest ball of paint, here. <laughs> and you can paint it. And you can, if you go, if you go there, you can paint it. And I don't think it costs anything. <laughs> you just paint it. You just want people to make it bigger. <laughs> yeah, get people to make it bigger is what they. Do. I want to be that. I want to meet meet that guy's marketeer, man. Because somehow he, how do you take a ball of paint? And make it make it a, an attraction, you know. I wish I knew how to do that with my band. Yeah, right. <laughs> you bring that tour with you, huh? 
you know, be Montoria, but on stage, you know? <laughs> yeah. How big are we talking? <laughs> well, I'm 6'1". It's almost as tall as me. Okay, wow. <laughs> it might be now. It might be. Yeah, if you keep painting it, it'll get like. <laughs> yeah. okay. I mean, that, it's quite the attraction. Of, uh, there was, there, it wasn't like when we stopped there, it was it was empty. There were people actually stopping in to see the Of course, I did too. Hey, let's go see the world's largest ball of paint. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Uh, you're at the mag and you're at the mail. There's another place. Were you at the grog shop? No, no. no. Uh, Buzz Ben. Buzz Ben, yes. Bin. Okay, we, yes. How's that? Like, it was it was different. Um I didn't, you know, it was it was okay. Um I almost fell at the stage and killed myself because it's like <laughs> but but we had fun there. Yeah, we had fun there. <laughs> you know, we we had some great, great bands there, and you know, uh there was a band called Messmaker who uh oh. who uh you know told us that they were okay. That band is Wow. Yeah, you know? they were incredible. Oh so God. I put them on as the first band because I said, oh, we're okay. Yeah, it's like two piece. Oh, they're okay. No. Oh, my God. No. no. And a light I'm show. Like, <laughs> they're a little bit tricky, okay? <laughs> but they were great. But uh, we played, that's when we met Pete Masquerade at that show. Um, we met some great people. So it was a great show in that aspect. It's one of our last shows in Ohio, I think. It was the last show. Yeah, in Ohio well, yeah. Before we went to uh, D.C. So I just wrote down mess maker because I'm going to go poach them. You, you should yeah. definitely go check them out. They're great. <laughs> and I tell um, them you guys gave. I, I tell them you guys gave me the reference. <laughs> yeah, we, we, also, we also played at Legends in Cincinnati. And that's a oh, great yeah. place. Too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I played there. I played there before too. It's it is a great place, man. It's there's a really cool record shop right by there too. I can't think of the name. It was a vinyl shop. And it's a really nice one. Yeah, and, and they'll let you set up and play. I don't know if they'll pay you anything, but they'll let you set up and play there. But if you're already in Cincinnati and you're waiting to get into Legends, you can set up a daytime show. Sounds good. Yeah, that's cool. You know, you, you might be able to get in. And I, I just wish I could think. I'll, I'll look it up and I'll message you, message it to yeah. you. The funniest place we played, uh, we played at a laundromat in Columbus, Ohio. A long <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. It was fun, though. It's called Dirty Dungarees. <laughs> Wander at the bar. Yep. Yeah, it was. It was a great show, though. It was yeah. really cool. <laughs> if, you, if you want to check out some bands from that show, check out the Funky Dunk Ducklings. They are awesome. And Earth to Eden. There's two other bands you might want to check out. They're and Seize the Night. Seize yep. the Night. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good night. All yeah. three nights. Uh, all three nights. All three bands mm -hmm. were great. They were amazing. Yep. And the laundromat. <laughs> yeah, long great. Get your, get your clothes on, and then you play a show. I mean, get your clothes like, done. Get, get <laughs> wasted, play a show. It was at a laundromat in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> is it, was that, is that your favorite show on this run? Um, no, no, no. No, but it was fun. But it, yeah. Tell me about your favorite show on this run. Oh, so all right, I love this question. It I makes you think. Kind of were between yeah. Magbar and uh, Legend, or Melody and... LA. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, Melody was just... We had a great reaction there we yeah that another, was another, another band with great bands playing uh jane and, and her ghost mm -hmm. check that band out oh phenomenal God. band <laughs> after glow. and yeah. i know okay, okay. after glow right. and uh there's another band called after glow and we had just just the you know we had the crowd into it and if you watch us live i'm like i'm crazy and uh, you know we gotta i don't want to say we got routine because it's all it's all improv but we're kind of funny on stage, and you know, and they <laughs> loved us there. You know, it was like it was it was crazy. But uh, so think about comedy mixed with music. But that's who we are. <laughs> Basically, it's the truth. I <laughs> mean, the guy from last night maybe pushed your ego a little bit on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, the, 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 the bartender last night is like, oh, we got we got uh, open mics here, comedy stuff. You you should come up and do that. I'm like, dude, it's uh, I'm not it's not like it's not my bag. I'm just a guy in the band. <laughs> It gets weird on stage, but the comedy is not my pen. But it's um, hard. It is hard. Yeah. It's hard. But it was like that show particularly, which is like people just went crazy with us, mainly because uh, Alan was boyfriend was eating pizza, and that really pissed me off. Yeah, <laughs> I literally really smelled it while they were cooking it. So, <laughs> Justin, I eat that pizza when we were doing our set. How do you eat a pizza when you are set? I can smell that on stage. <laughs> I was so hungry. He's only a away. 
But anyways, well, what what do you happen. what do you want to add? We're about to run out of time here. Um, if anybody wants to check us out on our uh, website, we're at www.vicesinc.com. We're also on Instagram, um, vices.inc.band. We're also on uh, to Spotify, just Vice Inc. Easily, YouTube. Um, reach out to us, add us, come to the show. Uh, we're nice. We have T-shirts. <laughs> you know? My damn shirt, damn it! Yeah. Ten dollars shirts, you know. Ten dollars CDs. We're really cheap. Um, you want us to mail all you want? That's this right to me, and I'll have I'll mail on to anybody. We ship it out, you know. Um, but yeah, check us out. You do have a regular website. Yes, we yes. do. Okay, yes, we do. there there will be there will be links to, to all that in the description of this episode. Be sure to check everything out. These guys got a lot to offer. That is all our time we have for now. Thank you for listening to Undergroundopolis. Remember, we do this every Wednesday night, bringing you new and exciting artists every week. Be sure to hit up their websites and social media and stream or download their music. If you like this show, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, any streaming platform, and leave us a review as well. I'm your host, Rob Lyon, signing off.